welcome, welcome friends, welcome to my home and welcome to our sacred space that I prepared for us to do this meditation today. So you know, this meditation really is a great way to begin or continue a daily meditative practice. It's passive, which means a lot of things. It means that it's easy. It means you just tune in and you have, by the time we're done, you have at least 15 minutes of meditation under your belt if you watch through. Um, if you just watch your pick a card, you still have a little bit of meditation under your belt. So that's fine too. Um, also, because it's passive, you can be, you can become an active meditation. Like for instance, if you have a treadmill or if you have a extra bicycle or something, you can do that while you watch this. And that's still considered meditation because meditation becomes in many, many, many forms. And in fact, our thought of the day is going to include, um, and there's another physical form of meditation. When we read from Ram Das, a lot of times that is what we're hearing about. So, um, just so you know, there are lots of ways to connect with me, many other ways to connect with me, and I love to do that. So, come see me, click on my link tree, um, and join me in my social medias. It's in the description of this video, my link tree, and you click on that and it's an adventure. It takes you anywhere you wanna go. It can take you to my website where you can book a more accurate personal reading. Um, it will take you to my phone number so you can book too. If you're watching this video, um, go ahead and take the time to like, do the like button, like, ding. Um, do, go ahead and do it right now because you'll forget if you watch it to, to the end. Um, so like this video, share it with at least one someone. You don't have to share it physically, but let them know about it. Um, if you feel like they would enjoy a daily pick meditation, or if you feel like they would profit from some meditation, or if you feel like it would be funny to say to them, go ahead and tell them. Because you never really know unless you really know, right? <laughs> okay, so we are going to move on to our thought of the day. And we are reading from page 80 in Ram Das and, and our Journey of Awakening book. Um, okay, so Tai Chi... A flow of mudras develops into a moving meditation. While Tai Chi appears to be a continuous movement, it's actually a series of tiny stops like a movie in slow motion. Tai Chi, like all oriental martial arts, is a spiritual path in itself. Indeed, Bodhidharma, who brought Buddhism to China from India, is credited with inventing karate, or kung fu in Chinese. When the way of the martial arts is pursued to its highest point, the practitioner loses all trace of his ego in the perfection of his movements. To reach this point requires an intense self-discipline as any sitting meditation. Still, another tradition that uses movement to develop a meditative awareness is Sufi dancing. The dervishes are fabled for their worlds, but there are many other kinds of dance and walks the Sufis use. In most of these, the movement is keyed to a chant. The combination of motion and prayer focusing the dancer's mind and body on God. Sufi meditation also includes music is a very important part. And if you don't know, if you haven't heard of Sufi, Sufism, um, it's really something you should look into because it's really interesting, really beautiful. It is um, it's an Islamic religion. It's a sect that is based on music and dance and math. It's, it's beautiful. Okay. We did our thought of the day. So let's go ahead and do we need to focus here? I think so. Sorry about that, guys. So let's go ahead and move on. We are going to look at these guys. Did we look at these? We're going to, I'll show them all up close on the palm of my hand. 
My black, I keep wanting to say it's onyx, but it's not. It's, um, I don't know. It's a black heart. <laughs> Here's our honey citrine. This is our jasper. This is our tiger eye. Um, and I will just put these. Obsidian. It's obsidian. Okay. So now is the time to go ahead and take your time and figure out which topper or which card you're going to choose for your card today. Um, some people don't choose just one card. They choose more than one card, and that's fine. Um, I will just let you know I read each card individually because it's a pick a card. So that means these cards will not... Oftentimes cards mean things together. They're like sentences almost. Like when you put cards together, it's a sentence and like each card is a word, but not quite, but that's kind of how it works. So I'm not going to be reading these together. I'm going to be reading them separate if that makes sense. I don't even know if I needed to tell you that. But anyway, we're going to start with the Tiger Eye Palm Rock. This is just a lovely rock. It's one of my favorites. And one of the, there's several things like this you can feel the difference in the colors like the colors have different textures it's a really nice rock especially for a pocket rock or a palm rock as people say um you have the queen of cups and what i want you to realize well first of all cups also means hearts and honestly i don't think willis carroll had any idea of who the queen of hearts actually was or he wouldn't have written that story that way because that is not the queen of hearts the queen of hearts is a very generous soul she's family based she loves her subjects and she treats them all like family this peach it does not mean what you think it means okay this this card this artist uh was long before emojis <laughs> and so that peach actually means strength of character um if she is you today, then I want you to feel your royalty. I want you to feel your grandness. I want you to appreciate the things that you do for other people and know that you are a good person and that you are a person that works hard to help others feel safe and comfortable. Um, but you're also royal. You're also a king. A king. You're a king or a queen, actually. Because w while the cards are gendered, it doesn't really have a whole lot to do with what your gender might be. Um, so in other words, while they're gendered, they're talking about gender energy rather than actual gender. So um, if this is not you, then I want you to think about someone that she reminds you of. Who does she remind you? Look at her face. If you, she doesn't remind you of anybody yet, look closely at her face and see if she reminds you of someone. Someone that deserves the honor of your worship or your gratefulness, your gratitude for everything that they do. So today, seek out that person or be that person. Seek out that person in order to Thank them, and if you are that person, congratulate yourself on being so lovely. <laughs> um, here is your tiger eye. I'm sorry, I don't know why I called it a tiger eye. It's not because it looks tigery. Look, it's orange and stripy, but it's not. It's a jasper. Jasper. So we're going to look and see what's under your, okay, the nine of rods. You are in a defensive position today. Now, here's the thing. When I picked up this card, when I first handled it, when I first put it down on the table, I got a really strong feeling about children. So if you are someone that works with children, has children, um, stands for children i want you to keep your eyes open and your ears open 
diligently today. I want you to keep a look out. Your power and strength is here represented in this in this fire. So I'm not concerned about your safety. I am, however, concerned about what you might see today that needs a that just needs someone to see. Uh, if if you don't have anything to do with children today, I would say go ahead and just even so keep your eyes peeled and your ears open about your surroundings. And now we're going to turn over the honey citrine, the card that's under the honey citrine, and we have the devil. So today, this card also spoke to me, so to speak, so to speak, um, and really, I was really focusing on this bag of money here. Like, it really stood out. Let's see if we can get a nice close-up of that. I guess it's going to be kind of hard to do. Sorry. So, anyway, I was thinking about that bag of money, and I was also thinking about that snake going around his leg. He's unaware of the dangers of the snake, which really does represent knowledge in some sense, but in this case, it's also deadly. Um, this couple is thinking a lot about money. <laughs> and we have the fox here. The fox is the trickster. Basically, with this card, I don't look at him up close. Look at his creepy looking little eyes. Normally, I love foxes. I think they're gorgeous. But this one is kind of representing dark times. Um, if you have this card today, of course, I would say be wary of your addictions. And, of course, temptations. As um, In this deck, it is the temptation card. However, also, I would just like to warn against chasing greed, not chasing money. Money money's one thing. Greed is another. Are you desiring to have more than you need? Is that your desire? Of course, we all want that because it's comfortable. But be careful. Also, if you have that one friend that whenever y'all go out, y'all get in trouble, don't, don't hang out with them today. Y'all are going to go to jail. <laughs> Just, you know, to, with this card, whatever you're up to, whatever's going on, whatever temptation or whatever, it, it's trouble today trouble today. You're going to get caught if you don't want to get caught. Here's our obsidian, our black obsidian cold, black obsidian heart and we are going, which was a gift from a friend. Did I say that? Thank you, friend. You have a very important card. You have the high priest today. The high priest is very knowledgeable. Um, for you to have this card today, oh, let's talk about this. The eagle in the front, that bird, represents the sun. So, Whoops, so this is really a very positive card. Um, it's also asking you about your, oh, this tree and that branch, eternity. That's what that symbolizes. As does the back of his chair being clear so that you can see right through it. The elephant also represents knowledge, wisdom, as well as longevity. The bullhead represents the symbol Taurus. A very earthy. Um, so ask yourself today how you express your spirituality on the outside. Not that it needs to be or has to be expressed on the outside, but do you go to church? Do you go out and go fishing? How do you connect physically? How do you connect your physical body to your worship? Um, and if you don't, just think about it. How would you? How would you do that? Um, it's definitely about connection to the spirit, but it's also about connection to the earth at the same time, unlike the high priestess. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave you there with that, with those thoughts. Just take those thoughts with you today or this evening, or as you get tucked into bed, 
or for whenever you're listening to this because I have invoked divine timing, which means this is good to go <laughs> whenever you find it. Um, here we are. We're at the end of this video. I hope you were able to get something helpful or hopeful to help fuel your day ahead or your evening. Do take what resonates with you, but also please don't make life altering decisions or changes based on a video pick a card reading. Um, please like and subscribe, share and come back again soon. You guys, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it very much.